to my week 33 bump date. This week, baby is the size of a honeydew melon or a pineapple. More on baby this week. Um, more light is able to be penetrated through my belly because the uterus is thinning a little bit. And so baby's actually able to distinguish between night and day, um, which is kind of hopefully helping his sleep schedule a little bit. Also, um, there is now officially more baby than amniotic fluid, um, which is definitely why I can definitely feel more of baby um, more often. Um, another thing with baby is he now has his own immune system, which is really great because he's going to need that once he's born and, you know, germs and everything. So um, baby's just chugging along. He's also about four pounds now. So I can definitely feel it because I'm gaining weight. My stomach feels huge. Um, I get tired very easily walking around, so I can definitely tell he is gaining weight. Symptoms this week, um, a lot of it is gas and indigestion. Um, I've been burping a whole lot. Um, I've been farting a whole lot. I just have a lot of indigestion. And then when I burp, um, a lot of times the acid will come up and I'll have um, heartburn a lot. So it's not been very fun dealing with all that. My heartburn has been really bad lately. Um, I take Tums a lot. It affects me all the time now. It usually just be like when I was sleeping at night or like when I was about to lay down for bed. But now it's just all the time I have heartburn. So that's not the best, but it's okay. I'm hungry all the time. I constantly want to eat. And um, when I do eat, I can't really eat a lot because my stomach is so small. So I get full very fast. But then about like an hour later, I'm hungry again. So um, I'm eating a lot, but a lot of smaller meals. Um, my weight, I weigh about 148 now. Um, so I'm gaining weight steadily there. I have noticed my ankles have been a little swollen, um, especially at night at the end of the day. Um, so that's been kind of a difference, but I haven't had to like go up shoe sizes or anything like that. So that's been really nice. I'm still dealing with stretch marks on my sides and underneath my breasts. Um, I'm working on putting lotion on them. It's just a really slow process, it seems. I still have trouble leaning forward. My belly will get in the way. And so a lot of times I'll just have to lean back. My back will hurt every now and then. Um, not enough for me to wear the belly band, but it does hurt. Um, my hips will hurt too, especially if I don't have a pillow between my legs at night. I've been really tired a lot more easily, um, especially when I wake up in the mornings, I'm really tired and I just go to sleep really early at night um, just because it takes a lot out of me. Um, I do notice myself breathing heavier more often um, and it could be something as simple as going up and down the stairs and I'm breathing heavily um, and I hope that's just extra weight that I'm lugging around and not the fact that I'm really out of shape. I haven't really worked out this whole pregnancy, which is bad on my part. My nose is still super itchy. I still feel like I have a runny nose constantly. Um, I ha feel like I have a cold. My nose is either stuffy or runny. It's just not fun. I do have some moments again of like the fast heartbeat, but I haven't noticed it as often lately. So um, that's good. I'm hoping that when I go to the doc my doctor's appointment next week, that my heart rate will be at a normal level and not elevated. So I'm still really craving hamburger. Um, I, I'll eat hamburgers every day. Every, um, I've never really cared for them that much, but I really like hamburgers. Um, still really like mac and cheese, root beer, all that stuff is really good as well. Um, and I'm still craving sweets. My belly is definitely getting bigger. I feel like this week it's grown a lot bigger compared to last week. And it's just harder when I touch it. Um, and I can definitely feel baby at spots. Baby is definitely more active. He gets the hiccups all the time now. Constantly has hiccups. Doesn't matter if it's morning, middle of the day, late at night, he has the hiccups all the time. Um, so that'll be interesting to see if he still has hiccups once he's born. He's moving a ton more. Um, and like I said in my last video, his moves are getting like really 
hard and so like he'll actually hurt my ribs when he kicks my ribs um i kill you know punch my bladder and i'll have to go to the bathroom really really fast i have been going to the bathroom a lot more often but that's just pregnancy i'm used to it this week a, uh, a couple things happened this week so the first thing is um it was valentine's day recently and so anthony went and got me a pregnancy massage i've never had a massage before let alone a pregnancy massage so i was really excited to try that out um, I went and it was the best thing ever. Oh my gosh. I can see how people can get addicted to massages. It was so nice. Um, they massaged my head, my shoulders, my back, um, my legs, my feet. I mean, it was just so nice. Especially, I could see, like if you're having really, really bad back problems like I was in my second trimester, I can definitely see um, why people would want a lot of pregnancy massages. Um, but it was just so nice and I was just feeling so relaxed afterwards. Um, I just wanted to take a nap. It was so nice. So I definitely recommend getting a pregnancy massage if you can afford one. The other thing that happened this week is Anthony and I started our pregnancy classes. So we're taking a couple classes over the next couple weeks. And the first class that we took is, um, it was called newborn basics and so it was all about newborns and just what to expect um, when they come um, this class was more for Anthony than me I've been around newborns a ton I'm you know I, I'm the oldest of like 30 plus cousins I've been around kids all the time I'm the oldest of six kids all my siblings um, I've been around while they were newborns but Anthony comes from a lot smaller family and so um, the first time he held a newborn was uh, maybe a month ago when he held his um, cousin's child who was a newborn so he needed a lot of information and work so we took this more for him but it was definitely for me as well and I really enjoyed the class there were about four other couples in the room with us so it was a small classroom we could ask whatever questions we wanted and they just went over things like newborn appearance appearance rashes that a newborn could have or different birthmarks like things not to get to like not to worry about um, how to prepare getting you know make sure you get a doctor for your baby before they're born figure out like if you're having a boy if you want them circumcised or not um, baby proofing your house um so they just covered a ton of different um topics and they were it was really really good and a good refresher on some things and some things i didn't know i didn't know that after you give birth you're not supposed to drive for like two weeks i never even thought about that and i was like oh shoot like I, I would hate like not being able to drive anywhere, but I guess I'm gonna not be able to for a couple weeks. Um, or, you know, just learning about SIDS and, um, you know, sudden infant death syndrome and just how to prevent that. Um, and just uh, being able to ask any questions that I had. And they had little baby dolls for us to practice on, so that was really great. Obviously, I've changed a diaper a time or two, but Anthony, I think that was his first time holding, like touching a diaper ever. Maybe not, but that's what I'm gonna assume. So I had him do most of it, because I was like, you need the practice. So they gave us a newborn diaper, and they had us, you know, take the old diaper off the baby, put a new diaper on the baby. So I had Anthony get more comfortable with that. They they also showed us like different um, positions or different um, hands, uh, different ways you can hold the baby. Um, and so I had Anthony practice though, so he gets a little more comfortable. He keeps joking with me that he's every time he holds the baby, he's gonna have to sit down. So hopefully he gets more comfortable with that. It was just a really great class, a really great refresher. And it was really nice because it was in the hospital that we're gonna be delivering at. And the hospital that we're delivering at is so nice. They have a Starbucks on their main floor. They have like a three floor waterfall. I kept referring to the hospital as a hotel because honestly, that's what it felt like. Um, so it was really cool to kind of check it out a little bit. Um, and just to meet other people who are similar to our situation um, of the other couples, you know, every what was funny was everyone in the class is ha was having a boy. There were no um, pregnant people having girls. So I thought that was really funny. And there was actually one girl who had the same due date as me. Um, so that was cool. We kind of connected on that and it was just cool to see other people and what questions they had and just to learn more about it. So I really enjoyed the class. I definitely suggest taking any classes if you have the time or can afford it. Um, we have our next class next, class next week, um, and it's a 
um, one of them is a breastfeeding class and the other one is a childbirth class. So I'm really excited to do those and learn, just prepare more for baby. Um, Anthony said he really liked the class that we had. Um, it was a lot of information for him. I think it'll take him a while just to like soak it all in. Um, he was joking with me that that class should have been called, you know, how to prevent your baby from killing itself just because there are so many ways that babies can get hurt. You know, people will leave them up on high surfaces and think that they won't fall off and they do. Um, people leave them in the bath by themselves thinking it'll be fine. They're crazy. Um, and then once the baby gets older, just you know baby proofing your house um, watching all the cords so that baby doesn't chew on the cords or watching the outlets or even like sudden infant death syndrome trying to prevent that so I think it freaked Anthony out a little bit um, with all of the dangers that can happen to a newborn um, but we'll get there I think he'll be okay so let me show you guys my week 33 bump okay guys so here is my belly from the side with shirt on and then here it is with the shirt off from the front and then from the side so growing I feel like it definitely looks way bigger before it's definitely hard for me to hide my belly if I ever want to um, I think I'm definitely looking pregnant <laughs> very pregnant as Anthony likes to say so yep here it is. Okay, guys, I think that's all for this week. Um, stay tuned next week. I'll tell you more about our um, pregnancy, our childbirth class, our breastfeeding class. And then also, um, next week we are having our baby shower. So I'll be able to tell you about that. Um, I'll definitely have to do a haul video one of these times. Um, but I'm really excited for my baby shower. We're doing a bear theme um, because that's the theme of the baby's nursery. Um, and so I'm really excited. I think it's going to be really, really fun. We have some cute games planned. Um, and I can't wait to see, you know, the different gifts that people give us. We're having everybody bring a book as part of their gift um, instead of a card. And so I'm really excited to see what books people have picked out for baby. Little update on the name. Still don't have a name. We had those four names that I talked about several times. Um, I decided that I didn't like any of those names, so I threw them all out. And so we're starting back at square one. So it's going great. Um, Anthony told me to make a list, and so I did. And he's supposed to pick from that list, but I don't think he really cares for any of the names that I picked. So yeah, we're just kind of stuck on the name game. Uh, we'll pick one eventually, I guess. Um, everybody in our birthing class had picked a name for the baby. We were the only couple who had not yet picked a name for our baby. So we need to get on that, but we will. So anyway, also stay tuned for next week because I have my next doctor's appointment. So I'll tell you guys how that went as well. So yeah, there's a lot of exciting things coming up next week. Um, so be sure to stay tuned and I'll see you guys next week. I'll be 34 weeks. Bye guys.